Hi everyone, it's Justine. Have you ever bought a piece of clothing and then not worn it often enough to justify their purchase? If your answer is yes, this video is for you. The Ellen MacArthur Foundation found that the equivalent of one full garbage truck of clothes, of textile, is being discarded every second in the world, either incinerated, which pollutes the air, or just discarded in landfill, and that pollutes the soil. <laughs> we need to be more mindful about what we choose to purchase. This is my checklist to help you buy less but better clothes. When you're in a shop and you see a garment you like, ask yourself first, do I really need this garment? <gasps> is that a question I should be asking myself? No me digas! I know, right? But I want and I need are not the same thing. Am I just bored? So I'm going to do some shopping. Or is that piece actually the one that I've been looking for because it has the type, the color, the material that complements exactly my existing wardrobe? Is that the same level between want and need? A simple question to start with, but one that can save you quite a bit of money. Okay, second question. Can I combine this piece with what I already own? I should even add, can I combine this with the pieces I wear the most in my wardrobe? And that is my basics and my favorite pieces. For instance, let's say you're looking at buying a cardigan. Does that cardigan go with all the t-shirts that you are wearing all week anyway, for sure? As well as with your favorite turtleneck, sweater, blah, 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 which you enjoy wearing the most. So with basics and with favorites. So if you answer the yes to that question, it sounds like this cardigan is indeed going to be very easy to combine and pair with what you already have. Then comes a question about quality, and it's not a trivial one, this one. Is the garment well constructed? For instance, a skirt with a lining underneath. Is the lining big enough to be comfortable when you sit down and get up? Because linings tend to be too small. They have to be big so that you can move in them. And then is the lining attached to the skirt? on the inside, probably in the side seams, so that it will not ride up and twist when you walk, because there's nothing more annoying when you're walking with the skirts and you feel the lining going and you have to keep pulling it down. Whether a garment is well constructed or not is essential because clothes are functional things. If a garment is not functional, you're not going to wear it. If you would like to know more about garment quality, construction, this kind of thing, I did the whole video on that. I will link it here in the little card and down below in the video description for you. Next question, essential too. <laughs> Does it fit properly? <laughs> you know, when you're trying on something in a, in a um, fitting room, do some quick checks. It takes five seconds, really. Cross your arms like this first. Try to move your shoulders to check if you have enough fabric to move at the back here, in the back. Then open your arms like this to check that you have enough space for the bust, if you have a bust, if you're a lady, um, without pulling on the sleeve like this. You will notice if it's too tight here, it feels uncomfortable. Then check under the armpits that you have enough space here to be able to move. Then hold your sleeves in place, raise your arms, check if the hemline is long enough for your taste. If you're buying pants, sit down in them. Usually you have like a stool or something in the fitting room use it, sit down on it, check that you have enough fabric at the back to cover your bum. For jeans especially, check that you also have enough fabric around the thighs, around the quadriceps to be able to move properly. I have a video about how to find jeans that fit properly. It's somewhere on my channel. I will find it. I will link it here and down below as well for you in case you haven't seen it yet. The next question is, what is the environmental impact of that material? And here comes my favorite, sequins. A sequin dress looks amazing, especially on New Year's Eve, but it's one of the worst options for the environment. Sequins are most commonly plastic, completely synthetic, and they move a lot in the washing machine when you wash them. That sheds microplastics that don't get filtered by water treatment plants. Mm -hmm. They're too small. And so they land directly in the groundwater and in the oceans. All the materials I'd be extremely careful with, and I actually try to stay away from these, vinyl, polyurethane, 
acetates. These are old synthetic materials invented about a hundred years ago, so old in terms of technology. They're low-tech, they're rarely recycled, and they do not biodegrade when they're in landfill. Something to keep in mind and to think about if you have different material options when you shop, you know. All right, I'm still looking at this garment. It has passed all the questions so far. Can I afford it without going into debt? Clothes are very often seen as a status symbol. Think of the big names like Chanel, Versace, Saint Laurent, Gucci, Dior, Hermes, etc. But if you're not financially comfortable buying a luxury item, remember that by definition, luxury is not mandatory, it's optional. Clothes are necessary, luxury clothes aren't. Am I willing to care for this garment properly? If the label, the care label inside the garment says, dry clean only, do not wash, or separate the metal element before washing. I've seen this once. Am I realistically going to care for this garment accordingly? Or is it going to hang in my closet on a hanger with a post-it bring to dry cleaner for six months in a row? <laughs> because then realistically, I'm not going to be wearing it as often as I could, should, and then maybe it's not the best piece to invest in strategically. Raise your hand if you have garments in your closet right now that need to be cleaned but can't be machine washed so they're not being cleaned. Not me. <laughs> no, I stopped this one. <laughs> you? If you found this checklist useful, please do share this video with your friends who shop too much <laughs> and who end up not wearing what they've purchased. We'll all have these friends and I think in all honesty every one of us probably has made one of these mistakes at least once in our lives. <laughs> so it's a good reminder for everyone I guess. If you've watched until here please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I leave you with this video next also linked down below about how to recognize good versus bad garment quality because knowing more on this will save you from poor shopping decisions, I'm sure. It already has 1.7 million views. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.